The Los Angeles Lakers must find a way to trade for the Phoenix Suns guard slash for Devin Booker ASAP. They must find a way to trade for that boy Devin Booker at immediately. You can book it. If you want a championship title with Devin Booker, book it. No pun intended. There's no other way for the Los Angeles Lakers to win another championship if they don't trade for Devin Booker. I'm being completely honest and blunt. If the Lakers GM, Rob Palenka, is interested in winning another title and wants to stop investing and losing, they need to trade LeBron James back to the Cleveland Cavaliers for some macaroni and tuna salad and some draft picks. The Lakers will not, I repeat, will not sign no big name free agent as long as they have LeBron James on the roster. Anthony Davis is brittle. All you have to do is sneeze in his direction. Achoo! Achoo! And he's injured. So let's trade Anthony Davis to the Chicago Bulls for some young talent and some draft picks and just hit the reset button and then build around Devin Booker. And then let's say go into the 2024 NBA free agency and push for Kawhi Leonard, bring him to the real team of Los Angeles, the Lakers. Still, him away from the Clippers. Just imagine if you put Kawhi Leonard alongside Devin Booker. That is a recipe for domination. Bro, could you imagine the level of intensity hearing that crowd if we paired D-Book next to Kawhi Leonard? Bro, the 2024 free agency pool is super loaded. So I think this is the perfect scenario. To me, Klay Thompson would be a great fit. You know, and I think that Klay Thompson makes the most sense, right? You know, although Klay Thompson will be a free agent next season, we got to be honest, bro. We got to call a spade a spade. Keep it a bag. Keep it a buck. Keep it a bing. Klay Thompson is not the Klay of old, who was this relentless sniper, can go off and put teams in fear. I mean, he could still go off, but opposing teams aren't, hiding under their covers at night, worried about Klay Thompson. So realistically, and if we've been realistic, I think the Warriors are going to pay Klay and try to find a way to pay Draymond Green also. That's just my opinion. But hey, I'm going to say this. If y'all like losing, because I mean, <laughs> I don't know. This is a new generation. Y'all built different. Y'all like losing. And y'all are willing to lose not all of y'all. I was talking about the bronze sexuals. Y'all are willing to accept losing if LeBron James is on the team and he's breaking records, breaking the all-time scoring record, and y'all content with him getting getting his 30 points. I guess y'all like the possibilities and the what-ifs. That's a new thing, but I like winning. I'm ready to have my team back. And if we being honest... Man, the Lakers have lost their allure. They've lost their respect throughout the league and their credibility throughout the league. But if y'all want to see ESPN when they about to start covering the new reality show, which would be the LeBron and Bronny show, and watch a 42-year-old LeBron James catching alley oops from Bronny and recreating a Dwayne Wade and LeBron James Miami meme, then go on right ahead. But you'll be 10 and 72 while in the process. If that's what you like, then by all means, enjoy. But if you want to win, we need to trade for Devin Booker. Retool and win these rings.